to save your movie project as a movie file, a self-contained movie file, first thing you need to do is click on Finish Movie over on the left side of the screen and that'll drop down a menu of options uh, one of which says to save to my computer and you want to go ahead and click on that uh, once you click on that then you'll have the option of naming it you want to go ahead and give it a name uh, the name as required by the assignment then you want to browse for a location where you want to save the movie file to uh, I would encourage you to save it to the same file video digital video project file you created for everything else for this project and then click on next and uh, you'll see a screen where you are uh, op the default option is to save the video for best quality for playback on the computer that'd be fine if you're just playing it back on the computer but that's going to be too large in most cases too large of a file size uh, f for submitting to ctools ctools requires that the files be 20 megabytes or less and so if your project is bigger than that that won't work so you want to click on where it says show more choices and when you do that um, you'll have now two more options and the middle option is best fit to file size so you want to select that and this is where you can type in a file size maximum um, so since uh, ctools it is set at a maximum of 20 megabytes if you just uh, type in 20 megabytes or use the little down arrows to click down to 20 megabytes then it will uh, save your it'll compress your video accordingly so that it is no larger than 20 megabytes in most cases it'll it'll end up being smaller than 20 megabytes it won't save it exactly as at 20 megabytes uh, but it, it, you know that it won't be more than 20 megabytes so if you click on next uh, it'll go ahead and process that and depending on the length of your video it may take um, uh, f uh, several minutes if your video is short it could uh, take maybe only a minute or two but uh, it could take 10 or 15 minutes to process it's going to compress your video and when it's all done uh, you'll have the option to go ahead and if you click finish uh, play the movie so then you can go ahead and watch the movie listen to it make sure it it does uh, look right and then it's that is going to be a dot WMV file and it's that file that you want to go ahead and submit to ctools and it would be that file that you would want to put on your ePortfolio or website wherever you might want to put it for other people to be able to see it